In this lesson, we're going to talk about uh, how to add inventory on QuickBooks Online Plus. So let's get started. So I have here this QuickBooks Online Plus already logged in. So the first thing you want to do is go to this uh, gear icon, click that one and then click products and services you have your products and services here on the list so click that one so this is your products and services uh, item list as you can see there's no inventory uh, listed here so let's create a new one okay so name of your item inventory let's say it's product product A and as you can see here you have a track quantity in hand so this is where you check this box let's check that box so initial quantity in hand let's say you started out the initial quantity in hand let's say it's a uh, it's 10 and date is today's date or you can start out with uh, beginning of the year uh, in this case, let's just say today's date and uh, inventory asset account is already already there. It's a default account, inventory asset account. And then you fill out the description on sales forms. So this is what you like to see on your sales invoice. So let's put product A. And in this case, there's a purchasing information so when you purchase from your vendors if you have to issue purchase orders uh you just put in whatever product name they have so let's just say product a for this purpose and it comes down to the uh, price rate that's your selling price so let's say you sell this product uh for 25 dollars and on the cost side so this is what what you actually paid this is your purchasing price not selling price or padded cost it's your actual purchasing cost let's say you paid twelve dollars for this product a item so it's basically you have 10 you bought and 12 is your cost so uh, the devaluation is 120 dollars 10 times 12 is 120 dollars for your inventory and in here you'll see income account and here you see expense account so when you invoice this product a to your customer it will credit to your income account and it will create accounts receivable and at the same time it will uh, it will take out your inventory asset and post a cost for goods sold account. So it does two things when you create invoice. First, it will create your revenue account. So that's that will recognize your revenue and then it will post a uh, cost of goods sold to generate that revenue. So that's about it on the uh, creating new new item and adding uh, initial quantity on hand or beginning inventory. Let's save this one and see what happens. Okay, now as you can see here, name, name product A, description product A, and your general ledger account, that's your sales of product income account, and the selling price is $25, and the quantity on hand is 10 okay so let's see how this beginning balance beginning inventory posted to your quickbooks let's go to reports click reports here and it'll, it'll list transaction detail by account somehow if it's not on your this first frequently run report you can go in here to the search 
and run that report transaction by transaction detail by accounts right here transaction detail by account let's click that one and see what happens okay so the first this is first time it's asking is a cruel or cast so let us say cruel for this purpose okay so as you can see here it posted two in one entry here so it's basically is the hundred twenty dollars the starting one that's the uh, adding ten at twelve dollars a piece and and it, it, this is your inventory asset account so it posted to inventory asset added to your inventory asset account and then posted the other side the credit side to opening balance equity account so this is like your default clearing account so whenever you add your beginning beginning balance opening beginning beginning balance it'll by default in QuickBooks it'll post to opening balance equity account so in theory this account this balance should be zero the reason is when you when you bought this either you put in your own money or you still owe this money to your vendor so if that's the case then you have to also add liabilities to your uh, vendor account and the one side the other side will go in here so then it will become zero so that's about it so in theory as i said this account should be zero but by default uh it goes to this account so that's about it and uh uh hope it uh hope it helped thank you